Hey there, welcome back to my channel. This is Jay Johnson with windowpurchase.com. Thank you so much for viewing. If you like my videos and find them useful, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. With that being said, if you scroll down the homepage, you can see a plethora of my background and what qualifies me to talk about this. Most of the time I provide facts. Sometimes I provide my opinion in addition to the facts, and this is one of those videos. I did another extensive video on this earlier today. I don't know what number I'm going to put it down as yet, but I want to expound on it. The title of this one is actually going to be Are Energy Star's Most Efficient Windows Really the Most Efficient? And for the most part, in the northern zone, for what their new requirement is now for the northern zone, for solar heat gains, if the U factor is a point two three or higher, I completely disagree with. Because they're saying at a point two two U factor, the solar heat gain can be a point one seven, can be down in the teens. Well, that window is going to suit you really well in the winter with keeping heat in the winter because heat goes to cold. But that 0.17 solar heat gain rating or anything low like that in the solar heat gains is going to keep that unwanted heat out in the summer solar heat gain from coming through the glass, making the room hot, making the AC run all day. But now what they've changed, which is ridiculous, is if it's a 0.23 or a little higher, the solar heat gain jumps all the way up to a 0.35 can't be anything less than a 0.35. And I absolutely disagree with that because where a 0.23 or 0.24 is going to serve you fine in the winter to keeping the heat in, that 0.35 or even higher U factor is not going to serve you well in the summer because you're going to have a ton of heat coming through that glass. You're going to feel the need to shut curtains or blinds. And as I said in one of my earlier videos, part of what causes fading Besides UV light and visible daylight is heat energy, and 25% of heat energy causes fading inside the home. So you can dangle the carrot in front of the client the $600 tax credit, and a lot of clients will not be able to see the forest through the trees because they're focused on that $600 tax credit. But I'm telling you right now, if you buy a window in the northern zone and that solar heat gain is in the 30s or 40s, you are more than gonna, you're going to spend more than $600 if not during one summer, at least two, spending that $600 back all over again because your AC is going to run so often. I would not buy a window in the northern zone with the solar heat gain rating anything in the 30s or 40s. That is my professional opinion, and my opinion builds largely based on facts that I've collected and the understanding of how these products function. I do not know why Energy Star did this. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know what to say. Sometimes in videos, I'm just at a loss for words, and this is where I'm at with this one. Anyway, heed my advice or not. If you buy a window in the northern zone, and you're too focused on the tax credits, and that solar heat gain rating is in the 30s or 40s, don't come to me complaining when summer hits and your AC is running all day or kicking on every minute and a half. I'm Jay Johnson, windowpurchase.com. Hope you enjoyed the video.